You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and Beautiful Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we're talking about B&B today and about who is Jack Finnegan exactly, and will he actually save Sheila from these murder charges? And if you didn't know, Jack Finnegan is played by Ted King. He is an, a wonderful actor. If you also watch General Hospital, he used to play Twins Lewis and Lorenzo Alcazar way back in the day, and he was really good as those mobsters. It's a whole lot of fun, and we haven't seen him recently on Bold and the Beautiful. Lee Finnegan, his estranged wife, last we heard they were split. I'm not sure if they're divorced, but definitely split. Lee Finnegan has been around to see their son, John Finnegan, a.k.a. Finn, and they've talked a lot about Sheila Carter and how they hope she rots in prison and how impressed they are with the FBI sting that Ridge and Bill ran on her. But we haven't seen Jack in a good long while, and then all of a sudden, he's visiting Sheila Carter in prison. He was the mystery visitor. We had speculated here at Soap Dirt that it might be Uh, James Warwick, played by Ian Buchanan. But this is actually more compelling. And what's really interesting about it is because up until this point, we knew very little about who is Jack Finnegan. And it just came out on Bold and the Beautiful that he is, in fact, by trade, a top-notch defense lawyer. Everybody has wondered since these characters were first introduced more than a year ago, what is Jack Finnegan's job? Because Lee Finnegan is a physician and she's the one who inspired Finn to be a doctor, but they never ever said what Jack did. We heard about what he did in his personal life and that was he met Sheila when Sheila was a nurse working at the same hospital as Lee. That was how come he got to meet her. So people had kind of wondered for a while, oh, maybe he's also a doctor and that's why he was at the hospital enough to meet Sheila. And then they started having an affair behind Lee's back and then Sheila got pregnant because she wanted to be with him. But then Jack talked her into giving him the baby and he and Lee Finnegan adopted the child, named him John Finnegan. And for decades, Lee had no idea that Jack was Finn's biological father. He wrote it off as somebody that worked at the hospital, something like that, where they had a baby and it needed a home. He made up a lie and he talked to Sheila out of their baby. And now Sheila has called him to see her at the jail in Los Angeles. And he actually showed up, which is interesting. The question is, why would he show up? She shot their son. She shot their daughter-in-law. She ran his estranged wife basically off the road into what was assumed to be her fiery death, only she survived. So why is Jack Finnegan there? Is he there like the other people are just to see her behind bars and taunt her? Or is there some way that Sheila can talk him into helping her? We have to wonder because a long time ago he had fallen for Sheila's charms and she does seem to have her way with men. She made Deacon fall for her. Back in the day she had Eric wrapped around her finger, Eric Forrester. She She also has had James Warwick wrapped around her finger. Sheila is not without her charms, and she is able to manipulate people, both men and women, into doing what she wants. So we're wondering if Jack Finnegan could be talked into defending her, and if he does, could she get off on these charges? Because it wasn't an undercover cop, it was a lover, and we have to wonder if those recordings could be tossed out because you know, some some states have strange privacy laws where both people have to consent to being videoed unless they were under a warrant. You know, it might not be just as simple as Bill said, oh, it's okay to have cameras in my house. A top-notch defense lawyer might be able to get some of this thrown out. The only murder I think they actually have her on is the thing with the bees because that was attempted murder and capital crimes generally don't have a statute of limitations. But it seems kind of shaky despite her confession 
confession, it seems like they need some more evidence and they don't have it. And if there's any way that her lawyer can get the confession thrown out, then Sheila might actually come out of this. We know that she's desperate to get out of prison, but it might be hard for her to escape because her friend Mike Guthrie is also a prisoner now. So he's no longer a guard. He's not in any any shape to help her out. But Jack is, and it might be interesting if he got her off. But the question is, why Why would he do it? Why would he do it? Lee Finnegan would be furious at him. His son, John Finnegan, would be furious at him. The Forsters and the Logans would be furious. That part he probably doesn't care about because he doesn't interact with them that much. But his estranged wife, ex-wife, whatever you want to call her, and his son's reactions are the real problem. But maybe Sheila has got some kind of leverage over him. Maybe there is some dirty secret she has on him that she has and already told. Remember, the first secret she leveraged over him was the fact that he is Finn's biological father. She was able to use that to get him to take her over there to see their grandchild. So he has been blackmailed by her before, and just because that one secret about him being the bio dad is out does not mean that there's not something that she has to hold over his head. There are no official Bold and the Beautiful spoilers indicating that she has information about him. The next spoilers say that she is going to go to work on him with trying to get him to get her out of jail. And the good news is if Jack Finnegan gets her out of jail is that she stands a good chance because it will be by legal means where if she just breaks out of jail, she'll be on the run and kind of back in the same position she was in. So we're wondering if we're going to find out this week some other dirty information that Sheila has on Jack that she can use to leverage him to take her case. Of course, if he takes her case, all hell is going to break loose. But we also feel pretty confident here in May Sweeps that Bold and the Beautiful isn't simply going to write Sheila off and have Sheila go off to prison. She's too good of a villain for them to say goodbye to. The actress signed a multi-year contract. Kimberlyn Brown signed either a two- or a three-year deal, and she said every six months they have the right to come back and renegotiate or cancel it. But it sounds like she has a long-term deal. Plus, she's a great villain. It makes everyone uncomfortable to have her around in LA, and she represents an ongoing threat. There are also some CBS soap fans that hope once she ends her reign of terror on Bold and the Beautiful that she might come back to Genoa City, and they might move her character back to Young and the Restless for more trouble. That that could be a whole bunch of fun, but we're definitely going to see traction on all this in May sweeps. Don't miss a moment. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless and other CBS soap updates for casting, spoilers, and everything you need to know about your favorite soap. Keep an eye on Young and the Restless in May sweeps and Bold and the Beautiful also as we have huge tractions on major storylines, including what happens to Sheila Carter and who is Jack Finnegan and is there more to his his backstory than we've seen that could help Sheila leverage him as a get out of jail free card. We'll see. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>